Sharky Breath. He plays video games. Hello, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. This is the intro that'll happen if this document's worth reading. Let's find out if it is. What you got? Record of Red Maw. Okay, sure, let's see. Let's see. Amendment to the Record of Red Maw by inquiring John Dinimon, historian in residence at the Hunter's Lodge. In time, all creatures fall, all legends fade away. Such it was with Red Maw, deadliest of Thunder Jaws. He was, in, he was a perfectly normal Thunder Jaw. You can't. Come on now. In the summer of the third year of the reign of the Sun King of Odd, Sun Hawk Assis received word of a sighting and set out after the beast. Talana, Hawk of the Lodge, went soon after. Wasn't it the other way around? Maybe not. Quickly followed by her thrush, Aloy of the Nora. Fearing Talana might take Red Maw first and thus supplant him as Sunhawk, Assis resorted to treachery, laying a trap for the hawk. Nine mercenaries ambushed her, but aided by the thrush, Talana defeated them all. Six shot, three blasted. Really? <laughs> Does, I wonder if that's accurate. No, no, no. Several of them I killed with a spear, so that's not accurate. Well, that's a shame. Whatever. Hawk and Thrush continued after Red Maw, arriving just as the legendary monster took Sun Hawk Assis out of the out of the fight. Lash of the tail. Working together, the two women finally defeated Red Maw in a fight for the ages. Just stripped all the parts off him, man. I don't know why nobody else ever thought of that. Alas, the wounds that Assis sustained were mortal. Crushed internal organs, evidence of bowel failure. <laughs> Did you really have to include that? I mean, like, I'm fine with it, but I bet Assis wouldn't be. But he's dead, so what does he care? And he did not live to see Talana take his place as Sunhawk. So ends the record of Red Maw, most murderous of machines. Great. Cool. Did that thing. Awesome. So, man, look at that. Was that always there, or is that, is that Red Maw's carcass? Oh, uh, that's totally Red Maw, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, that's awesome. So what the heck am I doing with myself? I don't know. Give me a second to figure that out. I'll catch up with you soon, huh? Okay. Okay, you're the one who wants... Oh. Traveler box. Why do you want dirty refuse? Why would I want them? I don't understand. Sure, whatever. Have I even found the merchant who wants the flowers? I feel like I haven't. Yeah, you. You. Merchant? No. So I can get the baskets and the resin chunks and trade them to this guy for some reason? Blue Gleam Box. What? For Thunderjaw Lens. Okay, I'm curious. And I have three Thunderjaw Lenses. Sure, give me a Blue Gleam Box. Thank you. What's a Blue Gleam Box? Let's find out. Together. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Blue gleam. Blue gleam. Oh, page one or two. There we go. Yes. Open. What's blue gleam? I got blue gleam. What's blue gleam? What, what, but. A precious blue tinted crystal valuable to. What? Sources nature used for trading with merchants. It's just for sale? It's just money? Blue Gleam is a rare and valuable traded for specialized merchants for extremely powerful weapons and armor. Okay. Never mind. That explains it. Cool. <clears throat> so it's a rare thing. And I need to find a merchant who would actually trade for it. Well, that's fine. Okay. Carrying on. How about you? Are you the one? Kadeev! Yeah, hey, Kadeev! A colorful discussion. As you say, what's what up? You want to talk about? Yeah, you what indeed? An outlander, no? An adventurer. Kinda. I used to be one myself. I admit, I miss the beguiling colors of the wilds. Do you now? Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across <laughs> I knew a it. very special kind of flower. Some of them. It's made Not all of them, though. Like a machine. Yep, they are surprisingly lightweight. Grow around them in amazing patterns. 
triangles usually. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. Are they? If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. You have creepily large eyes, by the way. More about you. You said you were an adventurer. Just so. Mm -hmm. The nobles of Meridian crave flowers for their balconies and gardens. So out I went, with bow and spear. To hunt flowers. I made my name by searching the wilds for the wildest blossoms. Uh huh. No bandit nor machine could keep me from those precious petals. Cool. So what happened? Love happened, my sweet. Oh, my don't call me that. My paramour frets too much when I venture out. Okay. So now I collect flowers for those without such bonds. Cool. Is it worth it? Being restrained like that? Fair of course. Question. Freedom is sweet, but the embrace of my beautiful Theridine is sweeter still. You do seem like the kind of guy who would want flowers full of poetry. Let's see, what what's about These them? These metal flowers. What are they exactly? I'm carrying about a no dozen around. So but answer the question. They began sprouting 20 years ago when the machines started to go mad. I bet they didn't. Perhaps they grow from the tears of the sun, for he has many faces, does he not? No. Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next. Oh, I Perhaps see what you mean. Perhaps he weeps for our suffering when his anger breaks. Yeah, I don't know if that's that exactly how it works, but uh oh, wow. Let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. I feel like there will be no haggling involved. Usually you make an offer and then uh I take it or I don't. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't I don't have the complete set of any of these, so bye. Bye. My noble Nora. You are creepy. Beauty I would like to discuss with you. We just talked bye. Okay. I think that takes care of my business in town. So see you when I get somewhere else, yeah? I have a feeling this is going to wind up being kind of a uh, routine episode. <laughs> Unless I happen to stumble across a uh, quest of some value. Mostly what I need to do is <laughs> gather up some of this crap that I've left all over the map. Wait, what's that? Hey, what's that? I see that over there. There are you. There you are. Is that you? It's Pizza Vite! It's Pizza Vite! Okay. Greetings, valued Cheesy Heart customer! Cheesy Heart Pizza and Subs is proud to present Pizza Vite, our new and improved drone delivery system. Guaranteed, no more street drops or roof pizzas. <laughs> roof, roof pizzas. Guaranteed, on target, on time, surgical strike delivery. Pizza to your pose? Pizza to your. But position, right. In five minutes or free. Melty hot or the price is not. Zip to cheesyheart.hollow and call in the pizza vite. Great. Cool. The future's amazing. Hey, there's a there's another one over there. I see you. Where are you? There you are. What's that? Huh? Vidi, it's so good. Another one. <laughs> Thanks for registering with Vidi. What's for dinner? Where's dinner? Who's coming to dinner? Up to you. Step one, log into Vidi. Duh. Step two, choose a menu. In the mood for Mexican, jiming for Chinese, savoring sushi, peaked for pizza. Any cuisine, any side or dessert you dream is yours for the taking, or shall we say eating? Make your selection, and while the food printer is whipping up your vi oh food printer, I was wondering how you could get a pizza done in five minutes. The whipping up your vittles, move on to step three, choose a setting. Where do you want to eat tonight? 1950s diner, rocking the jukebox tunes, a Polynesian beach. Where's that cava colada? I don't even know what you're talking about. Heck, why stop there? Why not try one of our truly exotic deluxury settings? Fantasy banquet while watching, whilst watching dragon riders joust. Check. Glass bottom helo carrier hovering over raging volcano. Checkity check. Step four, choose a skin. Sure, we love our friends and loved ones, but do we really have to stare at them and listen to them every darn meal? With Veed Eats, gulp down meat stress... Oh, what? Gulp down meat stress... Oh, gulp down meat stress up! Is that your boyfriend smacking his lips across the table, or is that hollow star Ryan Kasabian glowering at you with animal desire? Is that your kid screaming how she wants more nuggets, or is that a blessedly restrained Madame Curie expounding on the scientific and societal impact of her discoveries? Don't worry. Veed Eats automated systems are just as good at nugget, nugget serving and child monitoring as they are as noise canceling. So you put a hologram over your kid and the thing takes care of it so, somehow. Step five, 
eat. This part you don't need help with, right? Are we right? Enjoy your VD's meal experience. Okay, cool, cool. That's some important business that I just read up on. Great. I wonder if it's still in commission. Probably not, huh? Probably not. Hey, is that a sawtooth? <laughs> hey, buddy, I need your blood. Would you submit to me taking your blood, please? All right, let me just shock his butt off. Let me just shock him right in the butt. Come on, stop moving that butt. There. Oh, that wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. He kind of got into stalker territory, which is not my favorite thing. Also, it would be really nice if I could get out of this river. Great. There we go. There we go. Ow, that barely hurts him. Okay. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Let's go ahead and, uh... Let's put that thing back on. And there we go. Okay! That's not pleasant. How's that, dude? Better? That's good, that's good, that's good. Great. And critical hit. And I'm gonna go ahead and frost bomb ya. That didn't work, somehow. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I'm at a disadvantage here. Don't fight in the water. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. How's that suit ya? Hold still. Missed, missed. There we go. Okay, he's not quite frozen yet. There, there we go. And bing, and bing. Gotcha. Cool. Oh, I hit level 40. <laughs> Apparently that pushed me over the edge. Cool, sure, why not? Give me your blood. That's not blood, that's, ah, oh, there it is. Sawtooth blood. The blood is precious. <laughs> you seem to be trusting him more than I would in the same scenario, but you know, as if you got blood around, you may as well take it, right? I guess so. All right, where am I going? Not back to Brynja. I'll, I'll take care of that in a minute. That's it. Got it. Delightful. Hey, that's my first full set, too. It's Pharaoh, even. I know about Pharaoh, thanks to, uh... Thanks to uh, our narrator guy from all the vantages, I know where Pharaoh is. Got one. And I guess from the visions I saw over yonder in, in that one uh, corporate office building. Yep. Where am I going? I'm so confused. Was I gonna go to? I was, wasn't I? I was gonna go over here. Well, do I have any other business over here? Doesn't look like it. There's a vantage over there too. Jeez. <sighs> There's so much stuff left to clean up. All right, let's go here. Kalama Khan Padish, Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. What? She does her house proud. Why am I on top of this campfire? What's even the happening? Sun shines on hard work and honest sweat. If you say so. What am I doing? I gotta go here. Okay, so we'll go here first. Great. Let's get on it. I'm so turned around. Oh, this is a bandit camp, or was, wasn't it? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Need them soon enough. Maybe. Ooh. Gruesome. Is this a glint hawk? I think it is, or was. Again, with the was. Got the campfire. Now I just need to find an advantage. Right over here. Huh? What the heck? What the freaking heck? Oh, I see. They're being attacked by a, a behemoth. What are you guys doing? This must be uh huh? It's being attacked by machines. Apparently, I don't even know what's going on. Okay, I found a settlement, and it's being attacked by a behemoth. Cool. Okay, I guess let's fight this behemoth. Ah, uh, there. Knock those off, please. Cool. Great. That's a good start. Ah, oh, hi. Yes, I see you noticed that, huh? That's cool. That's pretty cool. How's that suit ya? Okay. No thanks. No thank you, sir. 
Oh, you really like me, huh? You really like paying attention to me. I guess I would too in my hero situation. I'm gonna knock the stuff off your butt. That didn't work. I wish it had. What about that? Anything? Well, I knocked him. No, I didn't knock him over at all. Somebody else did. Interesting. There. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Yeah, just like that. Oh, you're, you still got all the ones on the left side of your head, don't you? Yeah, you do. Okay, but I didn't think it just came off, so let's shoot that thing off. Okay, what do you got left? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. That's great. That's great. Can I freeze you? Maybe I can freeze you. Let's try it. It's not working great. It's not working great, I'll be honest. There we go. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. No, some more. Real quick. There. I missed. I missed. Oh, hi. Weren't quite done with me, huh? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, let's just shove your butt full of arrows and you're dead. Fantastic. Okay, there's another one over there, apparently. Is that another behemoth? It sure looks like it. Let me just grab that. All right. Hi, guys. I guess we're saving your town all of a sudden. Yeah, that is definitely another behemoth. I'd know that sound anywhere, given that I just heard it. Good thing I picked up all that ridge wood on the way. Okay, let's just go ahead and knock everything off the side of you. That's great. That sure knocks off all the armor. I love that. I love it. Okay. Okay, that's fantastic. That is fan friggin' tastic. Can I? I'll just go up and. Oh, I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that. That's okay. That's okay. I don't need to. I don't need to sneak attack him. Let's just. No, 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 not that. Not that. This, please. This, please. Uh huh. And a little more. And a little more. Okay. Okay. And a little more. Perfect. And. Butt full of arrows for you, too. Just what the doctor ordered. Apparently, I gotta find out what caused that. I guess that makes sense. It seems relevant. What you got? Eh, nothing too interesting. I'll have to go through those, uh... You pulled us out of a tough spot, Outlander. Welcome to Sunstone Rock. Thanks. Maybe you should speak to Warden Geneva inside. Perhaps I should, but first I should probably destroy some modifications. Just a second. All right, well, let's go talk to this person who apparently wants to talk to me about how I just saved their dang settlement from two behemoths. Seriously, who has it in for this place? Uh, how do I get in? Guys, I can't open doors. This is hardly fair. Um, how do I get in? Oh, through the through the broken wall? Oh, uh, there's, uh, there's an open door. Ha-ha! <laughs> I figured it out. Door. We don't know how they got it. Rosgrund concealed the parts on his person, no doubt. Who's Rosgrund? We searched him. How? I don't know. I don't want to know how. Oh, wow, that's a big thing to get up there. That's impressive, my dude. There's a second one. Inventory is full again. Keeps happening. Keeps happening. Okay. Hello? Great card you guard? There are no Hello. shadows under the noonday sun. That's not true at all. It's not true at all. You made that up, and it's not correct. Hello? Are you the person? Hey, you are. Hello, Lord Geneva. Geneva. This is the one Geneva. who defeated the behemoths. It's true. Outlander. I'm impressed. I don't impress easily. You should be more impressed. Tell me, how do you fare with hunting living prey? Uh, I haven't had any complaints. Why? Are you saying behemoths or not? Three dangerous prisoners have escaped. I need my men here, getting the others back in line. Okay. None of this would have happened if we dealt with criminals the old way. Uh, I'm not sure but I like your way of thinking. I've clashed that gong before, and here I am. And here you are. I guess. Why, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean by the old way, but please clarify your thoughts. What's the old way? To be buried up to the neck and left for the sun's judgment. Oh, you mean like it the Mad Sun King like the version. Been made. Not one of them committed another crime. I suppose, because not one of them survived, I have to assume, and dangerous prisoners. What about them? Who are these dangerous prisoners? Three from the isolation cages. Don't feel sorry for them. They've lived well off the Sun King's conscience. No, no, no. Tell me what they did. First is Rosgrund. Okay. Osram trap maker. Hates the Karja. Most Osram do. Saloon in heat. Caught in one too many blasts. Or one too few. You're rather dismissive, then aren't you? Ulia, a Tanakh warrior, if that means anything to you. Uh, no. Not really. Another tribe? Reavers, from the south, bloodthirsty, 
Some say they're cannibals. Probably but guards to say they're cannibals. Well uh huh. And the last is Gavon, a traitor who smuggled weapons to the exiles. Which oh the, to the other two, the shadows guard so bad. He helped drag out a civil war, all for the shards it got him. A machine has more warmth. Neat. Okay. Do you know who's Nil? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Do you know a hunter named Nil? Oh wait, that guy. He told me about this place. That guy. Nil. That's what he calls himself now. Apparently. Is he well? Uh, maybe he wouldn't say well. As well as he ever is going to be. He was born under a long and dark shadow, but he wasn't a knife without a thought behind it. Like the butchers of the Sunring. I guess. But he had honor. Old fashioned. His time here boiled it to the surface. I guess. Uh, tell me about Sunstone Rock. So the Karja keep their criminals in this place? Apparently. Since the liberation. We've had them all, from thieves to the Mad King Jaron's former Kestrels. Actually, the Kestrels? Like birds? in the power of change. And sure enough, some did change. Shed their skin, like lizards. Well, he seems supportive. I thought supportive. all criminals were the same once. That's why the Sun King gave me command of Sunstone Rock. As an education. I guess. Sounds quite the honor, apparently. Sounds like an honor. I mean, I haven't seen any other women in Karja armor. It's no. true. I'm not one of your sisters. No sure. woman can wear Karja armor. When I was young, I chose to become a soldier. Sure. One good enough to join Avad's honor guard. There was talk about what I was. So I'd say, test me, and I'll break your arm. Fair. After enough arms had been broken, there was less talk. That would do I'm it. I'm curious, but I'd rather we didn't have to start fighting. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Neat. Anyway, I guess I'll find them. So you want these prisoners brought back? No. I want them put in the earth. I got that impression. I doubt they'll give you any choice. They had their chance with the Sun King's generosity. Right. So now they face mine. A bounty on all their heads. Ulia of the Tanakh, Razgrund of the Asaram, and the traitor Gavon. Sure, 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 if sure. If I did this for you, I'd need a lead on them. It's true. Well, when Ulia first swept through the Sundom, it was with the jungle bandits. I say she'll go back. Okay. Rosgrund, we pulled out of a crack in Dusk Mesa, where he'd been tinkering with his bonds. And you'd say he'd go back. And Gavon will be trying to pay his way across the lake. I'd burn my palm on it. Would you? Look in Bright Market. Sure. Okay. So I guess rounding up criminals now is a thing? Cool. Um. Nice, I guess. I wonder who set behemoths after this place, but I suppose it was probably the Tinker, huh? That would seem to be the safest bet. All right, well, just a second, because uh, I'm about to hit an hour on my recording time here, and I need to start a new recording, because this sure hadn't been enough for an episode. Hang on. Okay. That's better. Sorry, there's a built-in one-hour limit on how long you can record on a PS4, so sometimes I have to work around that, since we're doing weird episodes all the time every day here. What with how Horizon works. Let's go get that... Uh, that uh, d d d vantage, though, since that's why I came down here in the first place. Yeah, I actually to totally forgot that Nil told me about this place. But, you know, he didn't really tell me where it was. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. I don't. I wasn't paying a great deal of attention to what that guy says because he's uh, not the most trustworthy of witnesses, you might say. So where is this vantage? We need something that's going to stick out and possibly have a little purple glow at the top. Hmm. Let me sweep the area a little bit. Catch up with you soon. Yeah, it's not here. Okay. To my left. How about across the way? Oh, there's a big fire looking thing. Oh, that's the one. That's the one. So I need to go from up there to over there. Alright, so I need to get up there first, huh? Okay. You got it. Challenge accepted. If I can get out of this tree. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, it's Sunstone Rock, actually. Alright, well, up the side I go. I wonder if the warden would appreciate it if I was climbing the exterior of her prison instead of trying to find her criminals. Well, she'll never know. Unless she patrols better than it looks like she does. It looks like she just hangs out where she was. That... You know, I guess she figures she's proven her, uh, her aptitude for killing people with her history of breaking arms and whatnot, so... I guess as a warden, you don't really want to be great at killing people, do ya? 
prisoners aren't really in a prison to be killed. That's not how it works. I can guess why there was a vantage here. Can you? Uh, I can't. Let me just uh, let me have a look and see if I can figure it out. Ooh, what? Monument Valley. All right. A puck of shit storm tore day seven. I was three months out of rehab when we went camping out here. I see. Wyatt went to sleep early. So it was just the two of us when we stayed up and watched the Perseids. After, as we talked about the stars and space tech, I suddenly knew what I wanted to do with my life. That's an unfortunate time for figuring that out. What with having just been a junkie and on the verge of the apocalypse and all that. But in the, let's have a look at it. Oh, wait a second. I need to, I need to access it and then, then, no, that's not how it works. That's fine. Collectibles. Vantage. This one. Yes. Okay. Hi, Ma. It was August. Summer school had wrapped and I'd aced my courses, so I was heading back to 10th grade with a good head of steam. As a reward for my studies and my sobriety, you and Wyatt gave me a Fullerton Labs Astro Prodigy and took me camping to watch the Persades at, the t at their peak. I was amped. You always talk like this, man? What's your name, anyway? Do I know it? I don't think I do. Wyatt spent all afternoon struggling with a self-constructing shelter he'd bought for the trip until finally he gave up and built the damn thing manually. <laughs> well, the sleeping pods, anyway. While well, we made a fire and cooked dinner. It must have taken a lot out of him, because Wyatt was nodding off at dinner and went to bed soon after. As night fell, we sat and watched the meteors streak across the sky like fingernail scratches, marveling at their abundance, laughing our delight. After an hour or so, you asked me to teach you the constellations, so... I launched the Astro Prodigy and played Professor, spouting them off about spouting, spouting off about each star group as the drone magnified them. Later, I had it zoom in on the Odyssey, which is still being constructed in orbit back w back then. It was another year or two before they abandoned it. We could actually see the robots building it, zipping across the hull like little fireflies. I guess that was probably another casualty of the apocalypse, huh? If the robots were building your space station, and then the robots rebelled. Oops. So I jabbered about that, which got me started on yammering about the robots that Pharaoh and other corporations, even Metallurgic, had begun sending up to mine helium-3 from Luna and metals from the asteroid belt. The more I spoke about space tech, the more excited I became. But I was getting cold, too. Deserts at night are like that. So I sat back down next to you and we huddled under the camp blanket. For a little while, we were quiet. I wanted to say what I was thinking, but it felt ridiculous. But then Wyatt snored explosively from inside the shelter, and we giggled, <laughs> and our laughter seemed to make an opening for me to just go ahead and say it. That I, your, your delinquent son, who'd almost flunked out of high school, who'd nearly died of an OD at a Bash Corps concert, wanted to be an aerospace engineer and make the sorts of machines we'd been talking about. Robots to gather resources in the solar system. Maybe even ones that could travel to other stars and colonize new worlds. Okay, so we're talking about, like, his first... His first time through rehab before he got onto drugs again after... Yeah, of course, because this is his mother, and he went back on drugs when she died? Do I have that right? I'm losing track of the story. I'm sorry. He looked at me and smiled. Then that's what you'll do. And then he looked up at the night sky and said very plainly, as though it was a simple fact, you will write the story of our family across the stars. School started the next week, and I never looked back. Until right now, apparently. Until right now. Oof. Heavy stuff, man. So I guess she was just saying that she could tell I was a vantage on account of there's a huge view of this valley over here, huh? Yeah, it makes sense. It's just kind of hard to see it at night, that's all. A little less striking. It's... That's just kind of how the time of day works, I guess. <laughs> so, got my vantage. Got a mission to find some criminals, I guess. Should we... Hmm, let me see here. Maybe I should get started on that? Let's see here. Find Ulia, find Gavin, find Razgrund. Let's go ahead and track it. And they're all that way. That's convenient. In fact, one of them's right over there. So, let's go deal with that first, I guess. Sure is convenient having Templeton around. I can just overlay waypoints over on my view of the world. If I didn't have that, I might have to actually list, listen to what people say. Pay attention to them, that sort of thing. Nobody wants that, right? Let's see what we got here. Bandit camp alarm. Wait. Wait. <laughs> this is the city that was a bandit camp. I don't think it'll be hard to find this I guess not. 
<laughs> oh, that's amazing. It just becomes abandoned to camp again temporarily just for, for, uh, is it Ulia was it over there? Yep, it's Ulia. Level 6 Ulia. And she's hostile, so I guess there's no point in talking to her, huh? Okay, that's fine. So she escaped from jail and went back to the town that her bandit camp people had taken over. And she gets there and it's just a people back in their I town, I guess. You they would come. Drive her into the dirt. Who are you talking to? Anyway, there goes your head. Cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, she's okay. Talk to Ulia. Apparently you can take two arrows to the face pretty well. No way we could have talked about this, huh? Well, I didn't really give you a All chance. Kaja did was talk. Talk and bleed. Talk and shackle me. I guess. I fought like a Tanakh. Well, I mean, I snuck up and shot you in the face. Child. If you say I so. Just take a child. A strong take from the weak. weak. And in the taking, I made stronger. Why is it you're having difficulty breathing Ripped when I shot skin? you in the face? Look. Children. Riches. Lives. And land. All of these have been mine. I Drink guess. My, my blood. I'd rather not. I'll live on. Do I have... Okay, she's dead. She won't know if I don't do it. I've got enough stories to carry. And I have some idea of personal hygiene. I'm not drinking your blood. <laughs> oh, no matter what reason you've got for wanting me to do it, I'm not doing it. Sorry, lady. Okay, well, that was easy. I'd have to ditch something. I would have to ditch something. You're right. Okay, well, I guess I'll go find the other two criminals um, next time, huh? Looks like they're a little bit further away. But it shouldn't be too hard if that one was any example. <laughs> hey, look, a guard. Why did you just let that level 6 warrior take over the town again? What do they pay you for? Sheesh. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, again, this was kind of a disjointed one, I assume. But I'll do my best to sweep it together into some uh, watchable form in editing. And I guess if it was or wasn't, you'll already know at this point because you just watched it. So thank you for that. And uh, next time we hunt more criminals, I guess? Cool. I'll see you then.